is back now and we're talking some dry weather in our future. Nice. Yes, uh, we're heading that way, getting really close. Um, tonight we've seen most areas begin to see a little more clearing and that's allowing some of our temperatures to take a little bit of a dive depending on where you are. We're going to show you here on the map in just a second. 51 in Portland, dew point 45, wind is calm. Sunrise time tomorrow morning, 656. Today's highs, we got up to 58 at PDX. Our normal high is 56 degrees. We had the upper 50s pretty much throughout the valley over to the coast. Corvallis got up to 60, Hood River 54. Salem had a high of 61. Rain totals today were not all that impressive. Now, depending on where you were standing earlier this afternoon, you saw a lot of rain or you didn't see much at all. Southeast Portland picked up nearly a quarter inch of rain in a very short period of time, but then over at PDX, it was only one one hundredth of an inch. Hood River, you picked up just over a tenth of an inch of rain. So looking at Doppler right now, you can see very spotty showers left over, but mostly dry at this point. You can see that all the way from Portland down through Oregon City. But then once you hit Aurora over to Woodburn and over to Mount Angel, now you're running into a few spotty showers and sometimes coming down in a very moderate fashion, a little bit heavier at times, and then drying up quickly. We've seen that all the way from the coast here, southwestern Washington. This continues to move from the northwest out to the southeast. Now tomorrow, your election day forecast looks like this. Your temperature right around 9 o'clock, 51 degrees. Still some spotty showers left over by 3 o'clock. Your temperature only reaching the mid 50s, so a little bit cooler tomorrow afternoon. Little spots of sunshine and a few raindrops, and then by 7 o'clock, we're pretty much drying out with a temperature of 50 degrees. So, with that, what does that equal for rainfall totals? A few hundredths of an inch over to the Dalles. Same story for you and the coastline. You're not expecting any rain to measure east of the Cascades, though. Now for your forecast in the next 24 hours, a few spotty showers could also equal, that's right, some mountain snow. It's colder tonight through tomorrow, so our snow levels could kind of hover right around 4,000 feet, maybe 3,500 feet at the lowest through tomorrow evening. You can see that right there just outside of Trout Lake up through Mount St. Helens. Now we get to Wednesday. Wednesday, high pressure is taking over at this point, and we are clearing things out. That means a really cold morning ahead, not just tomorrow morning, but Wednesday morning when the clouds are really clear. Here's your snow forecast. How much additional snow could we see? Maybe one to two inches at best. Current temperatures on the west side of the metro are in the mid to upper 40s. PDX at 51 in Battleground, 47. You have 44 in Gresham and 51 in Troutdale. Here's your seven-day forecast. A few spotty showers tomorrow morning, midday. By late afternoon, evening, we're clearing out. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not seeing any of that rain. Temperatures in the mid 50s and Veterans Day next Monday. Yeah. Temperature 56. We're right now, we're expecting mostly sunny skies. All right. Thanks, Natasha. <laughs> okay, don't go to bed yet. We have no. a four.